Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. I'm going to head out to the studio right now, and you're going to get to see some of the stuff that makes it possible for me to bring you games. <laughs> you're gonna make games you're gonna need to get yourself a couple of things in your studio that you might not be thinking about of the things that I think if you're going to make something I think one of the things that you need to do is invest in a sketchbook I don't care what it is um, it, it's very tricky making a game in one pass you can't just come up with one idea and that's it you're gonna be constantly making up things and I'm always drawing something or writing something down in that sketchbook story-wise art-wise otherwise it's great Nothing wrong with just, you know, regular pens and pencils when it comes to this stuff. I like Photoshop. Photoshop has been my staple for years, and there's really very, very few things that you can't do in Photoshop. One of the best things that I have that goes along with that, I really recommend looking into a Surface Pro or some other drawing tablet, which allows you to do artwork specifically on the screen. are wonderful. I've had my Surface for I don't know how many years now, but it's been a very long time. And it's the first generation, and it works fine, and I love it. And I wouldn't give it up. If you're going to see me drawing things and doing demos, that's probably what I'm drawing on. I do a lot of plotting and planning. I do a lot of visual representation of what I'm trying to get to before I actually put it into the program itself. I, I try to line it up and make thumbnail sketches of what I need the player to go through and, and think from their point of view what they're supposed to learn, how they're supposed to use that knowledge, and what is going to be satisfying to them as they come across each individual part of the game. When you're going to make a game, you're also going to need an engine. <laughs> An engine is a system that the game runs on. It's what the game is built upon. It's the foundation. Engines, there's, there's a million of them out there. And uh, right out of the box, a lot of them are really, really friendly to people who, who don't program or, or know a minimum of programming. Uh, like me, come from a background that's mostly, you know, web programming. Um, there's uh, there's ones that run on JavaScript, so I found you know that's that's easy. There's ones that are completely um, just they're just an interface, and it's you know drag and drop kind of stuff. It's uh, WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get, and it's it's wonderful. Uh, currently, I'm using RPG Maker just because I know it really well. It's easy, and it was one of those why reinvent the wheel. Uh, Unity is great as well. You can select from a thousand different tutorials. If you have never made a game in your life, if you have never made a game in your life, it is easier than ever. Just find an engine you like and get some tutorials about it. Storytelling is a big part of game design. If you're a writer, I think you're going to find an easier time of making a game. If you've ever attempted to write anything, uh, a book, a comic, a movie, whatever, uh, games are the same thing, just in a different format. I like to make my own music, of course, with a game like Harmonic. We're doing a lot of music production. Uh, one of the funny things that I found that I needed early on was some kind of a percussion system. So for that, I use the Akai Mini. I really like this little keyboard. It's got um, all kinds of features. Uh, keyboard, of course, you can hook it up to um, a software that allows you to do drums, allows you to do piano, synthesizer, a, a whole world of instruments. It's a really great little controller, so I highly recommend getting a hold of one of those and learning how to use a program like GarageBand and some others 
that would allow you to make your own music, that would allow you to edit music, certainly. One of the surprising things that I didn't expect to find was I had trouble making bass lines. So for that end, I started sampling things. I started getting uh, all kinds of things off the internet that were just riffs that weren't right and, and other things. You try to kind of Frankenstein something together and it just doesn't work. So what I really needed and what I found out I really needed was an actual bass. And I don't play bass, or I didn't. Guitar was easy enough to noodle around on, but I'd never done bass before, and I was aware of how tricky certain things could be. But um, I, I picked it up a couple of a couple of weeks ago. I can count it in weeks still that I picked up the bass, and I love it. Um, currently, I use Does it sound good? two different basses. And no. the first one that I started to do recordings off of was just a little Ibanez Geo. You can get those for about $200 at any music store. The other one was also very cheap that I have. is just a Squire Jaguar. And um, I love the sound of the Jaguar. Some of the other things that you can look at, um, obviously a keyboard. Keyboards are always great to have around if you're composing music, certainly. And um, I've even found to this point that I've, I've got some of my songs for the game set up. And if I want to expand on them, I can go to the keyboard and kind of work it out. If you're going to record guitars, you're going to want to look at an audio interface. I like Scarlet products, but you can also use the um, Rocksmith cable. That does a pretty good job of putting things into the computer uh, fairly responsively, too. So I, I kind of like that one. <laughs> Sound effects too. It's important to know your audio interfaces and have some microphones. I like blue microphones. I like Yetis. I like snowballs. I have about a million snowballs lying around. Uh, get to know the different types of microphones. Um, at least get yourself a good noise canceling one like one of these blue snowballs. They're excellent and I think that they're priced pretty correctly for what they do. Um, there's just a lot out there and there's so much. It's kind of like saying any more. If you have a bare minimum of an idea and you have the want and drive, I mean, you can you can make a game. It's very easy. Uh, don't let the lack of programming knowledge stop you. Don't let the lack of anything, you know, digital hinder you. Just, just get in there and find an engine you like. Find a project that somebody else made and look at how they did it. classes you can take online. Most of the stuff is free if you're going to go look for, for lessons about how to use a certain engine or how to use, um, you know, any any program that, that you're trying to make has got to have a uh, predecessor that, that you can look to to find out how they did it. And um, you just go from there.